screening mammography uh, is, is a varying uh, experience for depending on each case. Uh, this case is a more difficult one because we see there's a lot more density throughout both breasts. Uh, the good news here, here is that most of the densities appear to be these smooth, round masses. This one here, and it's matched by this on the, on the CC view on the left, uh, right here. It has mostly smooth margins. We see others, several of them. One here, which matches this one up here. When we see so many, we can usually dismiss these as being benign. Uh, so we don't generally have to evaluate these if we see their margins pretty well. So in this case, that wasn't a concern, although it creates a huge problem for us in terms of creating a greater density to the background. Uh, in this case, though, we're not concerned about so, so much about masses as we are other structures because the masses all look benign. We do our usual search, and we didn't see anything there. But when we were doing our search uh, for calcifications, things were quite different. On this side, the calcifications appear quite benign when we look at them, as you can see. They're round, they're dense, they're quite clunky looking. These are, these are the typical uh, benign calcifications we see either uh, due to old fat necrosis or perhaps to some small fiber adenomas. Different story on the other side. As we're doing our diligent search for calcifications, as we always do after we look, review everything else, we look with magnification. And we do our magnification of this area here. What do we see? very nasty looking calcifications. These are not all round and smooth. They're soft, they're irregular, some of them are quite uh, 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 pleomorphic, and notice those linear areas. They almost look like branches of a tree. These, of course, are those that we see with the ominous uh, findings of uh, high-grade intraductal carcinoma, so-called comedocarcinoma, very worrisome. Now, could this be artifact? It could be, so we always look carefully at the other view, and when we do that, on the other view, you can see this is not just a random finding. This is a persisting and looks exactly the same, so it is a real finding. So we'll mark this uh, very carefully so we can follow it and see it again uh, when we compare it to the other view. These are highly worrisome for malignancy. We don't assume they're malignant. We always evaluate them as well uh, with additional views, looking for other lesions as well that might indicate that there is more cancer here. But this is cancer until proven otherwise. We send it for a very careful diagnostic evaluation.